you're obviously a great salesman, but where did you start picking up like the technical skills that are needed for the marketing world? Um, like you had mentioned earlier, my guess is probably while working on F-18s, that feels like a very technical skill. And it's very sure. obviously being in the military as well. You kind of you work this structured plan. And I think yep. that kind of is incorporated into a lot of us. But what what type of traits and things do you feel that that helped you bring you along the way as I kind of show some of these pictures here? Oh, cool. Um, yeah, that was the one I posted the other day. So I would say certainly the military and what I did in the military taught me how to, you know, create a strategy, follow a strategy, um, you know, be very precise about what I was doing because, you know, you're literally talking about, you know, people's lives instead of, you know, a marketing program. So, you know, you really can't afford to make mistakes, if you will. Um, so I think that that definitely has stayed with me in all aspects of my life, not just the marketing side of it going forward. Um, I feel like that, you know, sales, I can't even really take any credit for that. I, I, I kind of tell people like I, I've always been good at sales, if you will. Um, and I don't really I never really did any formalized training or anything like that. I grew up in an Italian family, so very comfortable, you know, talking to people and things like that. And, you know, I I feel like I have a knack for like building a rapport with people quickly and things like that. But I don't really think that that's anything I learned in a book or a class or anything like that. I think that was just kind of the way I was raised and the way I was born. I do think in marketing, obviously, I did have to spend a lot of time and continue to spend a lot of time learning the nuances of how to do particular campaigns and things like that, because that's not something you can just wing. You need to kind of know what's going on. And then I think paying attention to the details, which I would definitely say harkens back to my military time is I think what's allowed me to juggle a lot of balls and stay on top of things and make sure everything gets done in a certain way. And I definitely think the military is bleeding through in that respect, for sure. Yeah, no, like I said, it's kind of the same with me, just that structured, like I have to have a, a to-do list to kind of check things off. And I think that kind of stems from certain things that were ingrained in me back then. Um, yeah, the first picture you showed was actually from my squadron and the, the white circle around. This was my job. I was a troubleshooter on F-18. So what our job was, was from the time the jet started up till the time it launched, we were there to take care of any problems that would arise and get them fixed so that they could still make the flight time. Um, and then we would be on the catapults, which is what this is for night ops. And as the jet went into tension and went into full afterburners, they would move all the flight surfaces. And myself and another troubleshooter on the other side of the plane would be looking for anything like the flight surfaces aren't moving correctly or there's any leaks or anything that's happening that's not supposed to be happening. And we would could cancel the launch uh, with the guy that actually ultimately does the shot. So if we give a thumbs up on both sides of the plane, they launch the plane. If we give a crossed arms, they cancel the launch and take the jet out of tension. So when you're in that sort of environment, you definitely have to learn to, you know, I mean, you're literally, you know, getting ready to launch a plane. So, you, you know, you definitely get a chance to really hone your skills on being able to rapidly go through a series of things and make sure all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed. So, you don't have a lot of time to do it, but that that has definitely helped me. That ability to quickly ascertain what needs to be done, do it properly, and and, and you know, um, pay the, pay attention to details so nothing's yeah. missed. No, I think that's talking with some other people this week. I think that's a ringing thing with most military guys is that attention to detail to make sure that you're following through because it's bigger than you, whether it's your client's work or you have a pilot whose life could be uh, threatened by something you missed. And so it's definitely being a pressurized situation of making sure that you're doing everything right and correct, I think is obviously led to success in that regard. 